So Sean, I don't think we're going to have to think up any witty sentences to open up this video with. No, since uh, this one and its ilk have been serving since 1956, I don't believe so. Of course, this is the T-54 after all. Uh, right lads, so we're going to do a little bit of an uh, overview video, give you the quick and dirty down low, and so let's get to it. First of all, the most important things about the T-54 are its simplicity. The things we need to know about this tank are the front slope frontal armor, 100mm main cannon, and there's also a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun on top. Now let's climb on top and check out all the crew compartments. The T-54 had a crew of four. On the front left side of the tank was the driver's compartment. Behind him inside of the turret on the left side was the gunner. And behind the gunner was the commander's position where Sean is sitting right now. To Sean's right is the loader's hatch with a 12.7 millimeter Dushka anti-aircraft machine gun. It should be noted that this machine gun could also be mounted on the commander's hatch. Now, Sean's going to take you guys inside. So here we are inside the turret. I'm in the commander's position. Right just there is the loader's position. In front of me directly is the gunner, and then way up at the front is the driver. With four people in here, it could obviously get obscenely cramped. And with that theme, one major feature that the T-54 was lacking was a turret floor, so that the floor I'm standing on would not spin with the turret. Could lead to a few problems. Now, if you'll go back up uh, top, Johan, I'll take you around the engine deck. Okay, now we're directly on top of the engine compartment at the back of the T-54. One thing to note is that on the right side of the T-54, on top of the track guard, are three external fuel tanks. Now. To my right are the radiators, which cool down the big V12 diesel engine powering the T-54. It's got 520 horsepower and gives it a maximum road speed of 50 kilometers per hour. On the left side rear of the tank, we have storage bins all around on top of the track guard. Now, we'll go into everything else later in more detail, so be sure to join us for the next two videos. See you guys.